Horsemen of the steppes gallop through the Hungarian plains ready for battle at the Kurultaj festival. Dressed in period costume, participants reenact Hungary's conquest by Attila the Hun more than a thousand years ago. Here we are able to honor our ancestors who settled this nation. We can thank them for the nomadic equestrian aspect of our culture. We think of Arpad, leader of the Hungarian tribes and our ancestors, the Huns. The story of Attila and the Huns is an important part of Hungarian history. Upon entering a village of yurts and shamanic ritual, 22,000 festival visitors are immersed in the culture of the tribal warriors. For many Hungarians, it's a process of rediscovery. I think this celebration is important. For 40 years under communist rule, it was forbidden. Kurultaj means the ancestral gathering of Hungarians. We are all interested by this version of Hungary's ancient history and not by the one they teach us at school. Here we discover the true history of our country. But some question if this accurately portrays the country's past. For this medieval history professor, this version of Hungary's origins is mainly linked to a nationalist ideology. Associating Hungarian history with the feats of Attila the Hun, the scourge of God, is a national myth that dates back to the Middle Ages. Today, the number of people identifying with nomadic culture is on the rise. Prime Minister Viktor Orban just launched a historical commission to determine the answer once and for all. Either way, Attila and the Huns will continue to gallop through Hungarian people's imaginations.